all right what's going on guys uh in this video i uh wanted to take a look at some recommender systems and uh, you know i wanted to start with uh one of the most impactful papers uh in recommender system it's very old uh it's from 2016 uh but you know nonetheless i think uh, it can be interesting for us to sort of uh, have a sense of how recommender system has developed and sort of uh um, yeah following up on this in the future but this one is wide and deep uh, wide and deep learning for recommender systems uh it's by google in 2016 and it was uh basically for the google play store sort of um, their recommender system for which apps they recommend so that's pretty interesting uh before we sort of i get into the details of this but what i wanted to do is uh basically just let's skim through it and so if you just want to get an idea of, of what this paper is about You'll have that, and then uh, if you want the details, you can uh, follow along with the rest of the video. But yeah, so basically what they try to do is um, they want to make sure that the models are able to memorize information, but also generalize. Uh, and they do this by saying that, you know, wide network, so taking account of a lot of information, but not interacting with the features, that leads to memorization. Generalization is when you stack a bunch of layers and it sort of can interact and form more uh, complex features uh, but they also say that you know the, it can overgeneralize uh, and so overfit <clears throat> but uh, basically if we go through like this figure here I think that summarizes very nicely like you have wide models you have deep models and you have a combination that uh, like gets the best of both worlds uh, this is basically your stack like you have a query from the the user basically opening the app you uh, have a, a lot of apps, so you don't retrieve all of them. You just take a hundred of them. This is standard in recommender system. You usually have a candidate generator, and then you have another separate ranking that can take account into more information. Um, yeah, you have your model. From that, you basically get uh, rankings of uh, um, the apps, and then you can uh, you get logs from that, like if they uh, installed an app or not, and then you can store that and you can. Uh, send that to the model to relearn uh, that's basically their stack here they also talk a little bit about sort of the milliseconds of um, you know that they need to have uh, like the latency requirements uh, joint training uh, of these so they don't do an ensemble they actually like they put them all together and train them and then uh, <laughs> I thought this was actually pretty funny like they say here like uh, we'll get into it later but yeah that, that's basically the um uh what they go through in this uh, in this paper like it's not that it's honestly not that big you know looking back it's very interesting like how simplistic it is right i mean the models now are so much more complex but uh like it led to four percent uh acquisition gain which i guess is a lot you know <laughs> how many users does do google have uh that recommends these apps i mean it's pretty insane so four percent is pr i would assume very very huge all right that's an overview um uh, so you have an idea of the paper all right so we went through the abstract uh basically they want to make the best of both worlds with memorization and generalization um so if we go to the introduction they mention here that you know a recommender system uh, is basically a, a search ranking system. That's how they view it, where we have an input query, which is the user and the information we have about the user, sort of what previous apps they've installed, maybe uh, what device they're on, you know, uh, demographics, so on, all that information. And uh, we want to uh, give an output, which is the best apps. And they mention here like the challenge uh, is that we want to achieve both memorization and generalization. So we want to be able to remember, uh, memorize uh, our user and what they typically like. But we also want to build a, a model that can generalize based on previous information and recommend new ones. So for that, you need to have some uh, network that can interact with features. Uh, and, you know, that's what they try to do in this paper. Uh, we present the wide and deep learning framework to achieve both of them. Uh, and we saw, you know, the, the, the figure here. And uh, I think it's honestly like pretty self-explanatory what they did here. Uh, 
but yeah, so if you look at an overview, uh, this might be interesting. So recommender system overview is that first of all, we get a query, uh, which can include various user and contextual features. And then our recommender system returns a, a list of apps. And then, you know, once we have recommended uh, these, uh, we will get user actions. So we will get uh, uh, like if they interacted with it and so on information, and we can store that in the training data. Uh, and then essentially, you know, for many recommender systems, there is a huge database uh, of apps, right? Uh, like in, in Google, they have, I don't know how many apps they have, um, millions and millions. Uh, but for a particular user, they have, you know, latency requirement of 10 milliseconds. So what they do is that they have a network that basically does a, a candidate generation. So from those millions, they just pick out a few very, very, you know, maybe a, a hundred or something. And basically they use a very lightweight network for that. And then when, once we have those hundred, uh, so after reducing the candidate pool, the ranking system uh, ranks all the items by their score. So this is here where we use the wide and deep learning. Uh, I don't think they actually mention exactly what they use for candidate generation because this is focused specifically on the ranking part. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they use actually for for the for the for the candidate generation. That would be interesting. Um, yeah, so I don't think they mentioned that. But yeah, the wide component is basically a generalized linear model, <laughs> like nothing complex. And uh, the deep component is a feed for neural network, just stacked. They do joint training. Um, and they also mentioned here, you know, that there's a distinction between joint training and ensemble, uh, where, you know, they don't train them separately and combine at inference time. They actually do uh, train uh, at the same time. And uh, for the data generation, they uh, look at each example uh, for and it corresponds to one impression to show the the app. And basically, you know, they they uh, the label is was the app installed or was it not installed? Uh, so like a zero one classification. And uh, this is uh, interesting. I don't know exactly what they refer to here. Like they do model training, and then they say, you know, the wide and deep models are trained on over 500 billion examples. Uh, every time a new set of training data arrives, the model needs to be retrained uh, because you know it needs to have the latest information and so on. But it's, they say here like, however, retraining from scratch every time is computationally expensive and delays the time from data arrival to serving an updated model. To tackle this challenge, we implemented a warm starting system which initializes a new model with the embeddings and the linear model weight from the previous model. <laughs> Like, ding, ding, <laughs> like genius. I don't know. Uh, I, I thought that was funny. Like, this, this must have been, this is 2016. It's not that old, is it? I mean, actually, maybe I misunderstand something, but uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. So, yeah, the app acquisition, uh, they see here that, you know, the wide was the control. Uh, and then if you added the deep one, you got 3% gain. If you added both of them, you had a 4% acquisition gain and uh yeah that's uh that was it for this paper very simple uh, very straightforward uh but nonetheless one of the most impactful papers in recommender system one of the high highly most highly cited papers and uh you know gives a building foundation so we'll build on this and uh, we'll tackle more complex uh, recommender system papers in the future yeah let me know if you have any questions on this